We've had to be on our best behaviour over the last few uh, last few days. It's quite difficult to judge, actually. You know, some things are Irish and all right to be Irish, and other things are too Irish or not Irish enough. You mustn't get any of the names wrong. You mustn't point to something which looks Irish because that's usually a bit too uh, folksy Irish. So it's very complicated, I find it. And he just hates being Griff doing Irish accents, you know, which for me is the joy of this trip was to to um, wind our up. But now it's uh, it's taboo, omerta. We can't do Irish accent. Omerta, that's an Italian word, or possibly an Irish word. Actually. Omerta. In fact, it probably is an Irish word, isn't it? Omerta. Isn't there a jockey called Omerta? Before long, we'd be in the city of Limerick, and we realised we hadn't yet used one essential piece of boat equipment that would make us look like experienced sailors, the pipes. And with Irish accents prohibited, we have to resort to variations of English. When I always put a pipe in my I want to talk Yorkshire and be quite pontificating about things, you know. Ah. You're automatically pompous with a pipe, aren't you? Aye. Aye. My pipe? Don't talk my, to me about your pipe. pipe. <laughs> my 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 pipe. My <laughs> pipe. What's that doing? <laughs> like this. <laughs> My friend from Barbados. <laughs> What's that doing? <laughs> Our arrival into Limerick is marked by the famous Thoman Park, home of the Munster rugby team. How are you? <laughs> hey, as if on demand. See. You said, I'm pleased to see that the... Limerick welcome yeah. of people who, frankly, on a Tuesday or with it, should be in school. That's, That's all, the only all people from that. The only people in Limerick who can, that they can get to come and greet us are people. Yeah. Who, do you want an hour off school, kids? Yeah. <laughs> Go and greet the three men. Limerick also marks the end of the Shannon River. From here to the Atlantic, it's the Shannon Estuary. And it's here we have to say goodbye to the Amaryllis, since its owner Reggie doesn't want us to take it into open water. Inland water has been risky enough. When we arrived, Limerick was looking very pretty in the October sunshine. The city is divided, paradoxically, I suppose, into three quarters. There's the ancient quarter, dating back to Viking times with a castle. There's a modern Irish quarter. And there's a Victorian English quarter. The question seems to me is, are you judging? This evening, we've all been invited to the Limerick International Poetry Festival. But I discovered that the Limerick wouldn't feature in the festival. A Limerick poetry festival without Limerick's ridiculous. Something needed to be done. And so I have a plan, and it starts with a trip to a village just outside the city. This is Bonratty, County Clare, and what an amazing place it is. It's a sort of folk theme park. It's a living, working museum, if you like, and it, and it shows what Ireland was like uh, about half an hour ago. The reason I'm here is that I've been told of a great printer who could help me with a bit of publicity for what I had in mind. Oh, Danny boy, I love you so, but come... Angus, how are you? Hello, Good Rory. to see you, Rory. You're welcome. This is beautiful. This is printing like she was meant to be. Now, how long are we going back now in years? We're going back to 1850, 1860. Hey, you look well on it, though. You don't look... You look younger. Thank you. It's the oil of ole, isn't it, that you're doing, yeah. Now, um, the reason I'm here yes. is I've come all the way from a place in the east of Ireland called Dublin. I know it well. You do? Dublin? Are you a Dublin or yourself? I was born yeah. there. Balaclia? Balaclia. Very good, very good. Now, the reason I've come to Limerick... Now, as an Englishman, there's a poetry festival on in Limerick, and to me, Limerick can only mean one thing. The Limerick. So I want to promote a sort of independent poetry festival in which we get members of the public to bring their limericks. And I thought, what a great place. We could print some flyers so I could hand them round in pubs Certainly, in the street. Yeah, yeah. Printed good. authentically. You know, right. So, with an Irish have, twist. With an Irish twist. Yeah. Very good. I want to see this. I'm just thinking of something uh, very simple but very absolutely Irish in its being, uh, not over the top, but I'll do a variation 
of a but board this, this or is, surround. This is what you see in Irish opticians, isn't it? This, that. <laughs> Could be, yeah. That's why so many people wear glasses. You're right. Yeah. yeah. How many copies, basically, do you want? Well, we'll need... I want, to, I want to flood Limerick with it. Right. You know, I want to get people to, to get along to this do. So about three. Very good. Angus needed time to print them, so I had time to shop in the oldy traditional Irish shoppy. Says Ireland to me. Look, authentic. Morning, how are you? Good morning, how are I'm you? I'm Rory, you must be somebody else. Trish, pleased to meet Trish, you. Trish, good to see you. I've got a friend called Dara, and he, he's obsessed with Irish memorabilia. So yes. I'm just, I've just seen some wonderful things, and there's this thing here which is just so Dara. In fact, this actually could be Dara O'Brien, apart from the nylon ginger beard and wig, which she doesn't always wear. I see. Which is why it's so surprising to see it on here, but that is what Dara looks like. Wonderful. Gorgeous looking man. Yeah. Before he takes the beard off and the hair, that <laughs> is Dara. Look, that is just so... That is, it's like he's here with me. <laughs> Trish, thank you so much. It's great talking to you. And I'll That's me, that, That'll be Dara saying, have you got any present yet? Trish, thanks a lot. Okay, we'll see you soon. take care. Yeah. See we'll you. go to McNamara's for a drink later. Good for you. Enjoy it. Meanwhile, back in Limerick, the poetry festival wasn't until the evening. We were boatless now, and although there's plenty in Limerick with several rowing clubs and whatnot, it all looked a little tame. So at Time to Kill, we thought we'd try something nice and dangerous. It always strikes me that every powerboat, all you do is think, I wonder which is going to give way first, my the boat or yeah. my shoulders? Or of my joints. Yeah. Is it a bit like that? Why throw salty water in your eyes every ten seconds? The swans weren't impressed. They'd seen it all before. But we hadn't, and we needed a bit of instruction. It's all quite nice and easy till we go round a turn. And right. then I go one, two, three, left, and you will go ah, up like this. Right. And come back in. Now again. Left. Left. <laughs> yes, just left. What happens if we don't stretch out on the left? Uh, the boat can kind of slide across, so maybe flip over, right. and we'll be in the drink. Maybe flip over. How casual is that? Dara, look at this, what we've got. <laughs> oh, it's a SWAT team. <laughs> what we were racing was Zap Cats. Basically, they were an ultra lightweight inflatable with a massively overpowered engine. Three, two, one, go! Dara's blue and I'm yellow. Though, I try to overcome that. <laughs> Griff takes an early lead, but not for the first time in this trip. His turn around the boy is less than perfect. I take the outside line and we surge ahead. Even above the roar of the engines, I can hear my driver saying something about how all this extra ballast is helping the turns. It's a simple enough circuit from the bridge round the boy three times. Griff gains ground and I have to turn well to keep up. There's the boy, it's neck and neck. But I'm getting better at the turns and so take the tight inside line of the bridge, sending Griff wide, and this gives me a winning lead. I've not seen Griff's face in defeat in five <laughs> series of Three Men in a Boat. So this is the time I'm going to enjoy this. Take him again, Griff, I think. Take any, him again. Not only in a state of defeat, but in a state of nervous collapse. Yes. Yeah. God, it is petrifying. Meanwhile, my leaflets are printed and I'm mustering support for the Limerick Limerick competition. Thank you. Bon Hello there. How are you? Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello. 